everybody, welcome back to my channel. I hope everybody is living their best life, and if you aren't, please do something today to put you on the path of living your best life. So in today's video, I'm going to be walking you guys through how I wash and refresh my knotless box braids. So this is around week three or four of having the knotless braids in my hair, and it was getting a little dingy. So the washing part is pretty self-explanatory. The only thing is I will highly recommend you guys invest in one of these little squeezy bottles which you can use to put the shampoo directly on your scalp. And I've also noticed that it helps me prevent unnecessary frizz. Other than that, wash and condition your hair as normal. What I did in this video, or what I did when I washed my hair at this time, is that I just shampooed my hair with the Dr. Bronner's Castile Soap, made sure I get my scalp, as well as the length of the braids, and I just rinsed and got out. Time for the refreshing. So for this, I used the Cherry Jubilee Braiding Mousse, the Blue Magic Grease, as well as the Shine and Gem Gel. So you guys can use whatever mousse, grease, or oil, and gel of your choice. These are just the three that I decided to use. So what you wanna go ahead and do now is split your hair into small sections and begin greasing your scalp. And then as you continue to grease your scalp, begin separating individual braids and twist at the root while also smoothing down the rest of the braid with your grease as well as the frizz at the roots. It's very important that you make sure all your individual braids are separated because since these are knotless box braids, the root is more prone to matting together since it's not like the braiding hair that is in between each individual braid, if that makes sense. At the root, we begin with these knotless braids braiding our natural hair. And if your hair is anything like mine, if your hair begins to mat up at the root, it's game over. And then on top of that, I realized, well, since this was my first time doing knotless braids in general, it was pretty difficult for me to tuck my ends into the braid. So I was experiencing quite a lot of frizz not here necessarily on some braids but on different individual braids i was experiencing a lot of frizz towards the midsection which is where my hair began to stop so i would just highly recommend if that's like you go ahead and just take some of your shine and jam and at that parts or on those parts where your hair is just sticking out in between the braids just take a little bit of the shine and jam and smooth down that excess frizz once you're done with a section, you just want to go ahead and add the mousse to the length of your braids, and then you're done with that section. Go ahead and braid it up and continue until you're done with your whole head. That I fell for you when you had my heart As fast as the seasons change My heart was stolen Parts of me that were broken Found I'm dancing on moonlight Of all the stars at night None of them can shine As bright as you do They can't compare to your light Thousands of miles between Still couldn't stop us Just the thought of your love Was enough
with you the future seems so bright won't you stay here by my side i hope you all enjoyed today's video if you did make sure you give it a big thumbs up don't forget to hit that subscribe button and also turn on those post notifications so that you're notified every single time that I post. With that being said, I hope you all live your best life. Peace, love, and light to you all.